Ooh, so, y'all wanna hear something funny? Whoa, y'all wanna hear something funny, ladies and gents? In my test trial of this wireless microphone to block out noise, there is a piece of plastic on the top that I did not see. When I tell you my eyes are bad, I'm not lying about it. So when I got home last night, I was like, oh man, there was like a glisten on it so this is gonna be a true trial test but i'm really happy with what came out last time so this second trial is a legitimate one so i'm hoping this time is much better <laughs> all right i believe i believe the color is orange that's what it was yesterday i could be wrong i'm easy wrong about a lot of things uh something's drawing me over here to this little guy the simpsons see how much these go for $14.99 holy bajolies let's see if it's worth reselling or for collecting let me know which one you would pick or not at all the simpsons $14.99 here is some wear on the back that's not a biggie not to me at least i've always loved that dog look at that all right so this isn't worth as much as <laughs> the listing was that i seen i wonder why but oh well not worth getting to me a little pricey good for the collection i think but to resell not at that price all right got spongebob dvd clamshell case very cool cover Dollar forty nine, folks. I think I'm gonna pick this one up. There's some selling used for like twenty dollars. Some of them sixteen dollars plus shipping, still around twenty dollars. And then we're also gonna check out this as sealed. Sometimes those prices could be a lot more. Pick up this sealed unbreakable one, Blockbuster sticker on the back, and it is sealed. And it's gonna be half off. Nice little lamp. I think this is copper. Six bucks. Made in Taiwan. I believe this is vintage, basing it off of the cord. Does it work? Does it work? Let's find out, friends. This is really cool, but unfortunately it doesn't have Link's shield nor his sword. And I think I could get 20 bucks off of this. $13 for it though. It's not going to be worth it. But I'm going to hold on to it just in case I end up do coming across the shield. So we're going to put him inside the, the kid seat right here. And he's going to go for a little ride for a little bit. Check out this cool character right here. Real life action figure. <laughs> I don't know about action figure. Not at least the meaning that I'm I think of when I think of action figure for four bucks. Justice Ruth Badger Jensburg. Women long so all in place where decisions are being made. This is very, very cool. I'm gonna take this just because the cool factor. I was getting really excited with this when I scanned it because somebody had theirs listed for like $130 and I scrolled a little down and it kept going down and down and down all the way down to like nine bucks even auctions starting at two dollars and 99 cents but because of the cool factor of this being a judge um, I won't judge you if you don't hit the thumbs up 
but um, I'm gonna pick this up for the cool factor. I'm still looking for Link's uh, belongings of his shield and sword. I'm hoping that it is here somewhere because if it is, then that's guaranteed it's gonna be a better sell than not having it with it. And if I can't find them, then I'm gonna have to just, just let it be here for somebody else to pick up. It's getting a little tough trying to find stuff today. And sometimes it's just that way. Oh, look at this little hula, Olaf. Oh, that, um, the hula Hello Kitty that I found at Savers for $4, that just sold for $50 on eBay. All right, so found a little rubber ducky. I like coming across them, especially when they're unique. I've sold, I think my highest priced one that sold was like $18 that I got for a dollar and it sold pretty fast. It was a wizard rubber ducky. This one seems like it might be more made for babies. Infantino, that makes sense. Is that military fleece right here? Seven doll hairs. Cold weather gen three. These usually don't do well, but I gotta check anyways because it's been a while since I've refreshed myself. So looking at the comps, not worth very much, but they are worth looking at. You get it for the right price. They're probably still for around 20 to 25. Good time of the year right now to be less than that too. But I'm wanting something a little bit more valuable. Wow. Look at this style right here. This is so cool. So, so cool. Seven dollars. I don't think this sells for very much. I believe it is vintage. Um, nice lining on the inside. That is old school. Look at this. Old school zippers right here. I'm really liking this. What size is it? XL? Looks more like a 2X. This is cool, folks. I kind of want this for myself. This may be good for whatnot as well. Our Mercari or Poshmark. I'm going to hold on to this. I'm going to debate if I'm going to get this or not. It's Richard Clothing. Tweed jacket. I had, to, I had to research what tweed meant and I just went with it. Somebody else had one listed for over $150. I ended up getting it because it's in really good condition. There is a button missing, and for half price being orange tag, color of the week, but what what is that, $6.50? I'm gonna take this. I'm also gonna keep it for a while because it fits me really nice. Look at this, look at this, folks. Have a ball main Paris. Goodwill if this is legit, this is going to be worth at least fifty to ninety dollars. Four dollars. There's no tag on the inside though. I think this is legit, but I'm going to look that up. It's a good print, good quality feel too. Coming across something may be something, but when you come across a mark like that, there may be some type of flaw. Um, sometimes it's a mess up on people thinking it's a female's or a male's because this kind of looks like a female's pant, but I think it's males. These are very wide leg. Tells me they are older for 10 bucks. And these are brand new tags. There it is. It's missing that back there. That's why that's the flaw. So. Uh, one that was used, sold for $40, same style and everything. This is brand new and it does have that flaw, so this is a gamble. Some people want that little bitty things, uh, like the label to say, hey, I'm rocking Abercrombie and Fitch. For the longest time, I used to say Abercrombie and Fitch, but it's Abercrombie, A-B, not A and B. So I'm, I'm going to debate about that and that jacket still. Ariat Rebar. All right. It's the first time I came across Ariat Rebar M5. Usually I come across M4 jeans and they usually sell for around $50 to $60. So for nine, for $10, I'm, uh, I'm very interested in this. This looks brand new. One of these pants have cologne on it. I'm going to look this up, but this should be worth, I'm going to guess that it's worth at least $40 or more used. And these seriously do look brand new. It's a nice blue color. Not as good as it is in person compared to what you're seeing on the monitor. All right. I am definitely picking up these for sure. And because of that, I'm gonna replace that one back. And I'm stoked about that shirt. I think that'll be like 30 bucks. 
But this jacket, I say I'm gonna rock it. I probably won't. Probably won't, folks. So I'm gonna put it back. And I'm gonna put that link. I've always wondered what this brand's name was. It's hard to look up even in Google search engines. And I was really excited to find it and have an answer to a question I've been asking for a long time. It does have a, like a little end seam stitching right here uh, for some reason. So I'm not sure if that's the way it's supposed to be. So I'm gonna look into this. Maybe it's meant to be that way. And if it is good, because somebody may question that. All right, my friends, two days in a row of thrifting. It was fun. It was funner yesterday. Uh, today was a. It was a little. It's, it it kicked off with a rough start. Um, thought the DVDs and stuff were gonna be good. There are a lot of false misleadings of what people have priced compared to what they actually sell for. So that is always something to to look out for, folks. Don't just see like the Simpsons DVD when I started. Somebody had it listed used, not new, not sealed, not limited edition. That exact one, uh, complete season two of The Simpsons for like over $100. And then when I looked up the comps, $10, $13, $9. And then other things I looked at were kind of the same thing, got me really excited. And I've learned from experience, look at comps. And when you look at comps, there's a little bit more to that. You want to look at, you want to compare what you have to theirs and who else has them. There's a lot of little different things that can help you out to get a little bit more money or a lot more money. And in my opinion, I am big on descriptions, no overload description, just a nice description of the quality of the item that they're getting and mention the flaws. I always put asterisks before and after just about. And I hope the recording was much better. There wasn't too much people here at Goodwill. On top of that, today's gonna be a busy day. Not not crazy busy, not like, oh my God, I got so much stuff going on. Happy to be busy because this is part of the life that I wanna live. I wanna make things work with me and my wife and the time with her and when she's off to work, I'm, I'm work. I got some drafts listed on List Perfectly if you haven't already and thinking about signing up. I'm enjoying it. I just finished my full month of doing it. Maybe even up to 10 items that I've sold from on Poshmark, List Perfectly. I just now started a Kittizens account. I need to plug in my bank information. Macari, Poshmark, Kittizen, Depop, and of course eBay. The stuff that I had listed on eBay for a while has sold pretty fat on other sites. I'm pretty excited about that. In my opinion, I think it's worth it. One of my sales is gonna pay for this month and next month. So it's paying for itself and it's pretty convenient. And there's always updates and it's honest and says, hey, this is what's going on. This is what's being worked on. So rather than you seeing or coming through a hiccup, it's already letting you know that they're working on it. And I think that's pretty valuable, especially when list perfectly, they go live often, follow their YouTube account. Um, follow their Instagram account. They're always doing giveaways. So if like me, like you want to try to get like a free month or maybe even some merchandise, even a tablet or a computer, follow them folks. If you can't afford it yourself, growing up, I always said, I wish I just had a chance and I just had something for free and I would show the world everything that I could do. Well, that was my opportunity for this. Um, and I could afford a computer, but I'm glad I ended up winning this tablet rather than saving a little longer and taking a little longer, having to deal with the busted computer, which I still use for lives. So you make the most of what you have when you can, folks, and just invest in yourself. So with that, I'm done for today. Until tonight, I'm gonna go to Broad, Broad Acres Flea Market, so make sure to check out uh, the niche lady. Most of you are niche niche lady danny fans and i'm a huge fan i'm also a huge friend of hers and um she's amazing danny carrie mikey bags of money crystal angel that goofball ah, i am blessed folks i'm blessed to have all of you in my life and to have things that are working out now when obstacles come am i gonna be just as happy and have this uplifting spirit I think so because day after day I put in work and it shows and I'm grateful and happy for everything that I'm doing with a lot of you I'm I'm out of here